Hey, and welcome back to my Stardew Valley uh, min-max guide using the Skull Cavern method. Today we have one objective, and that's mining. We're trying to get down to level 120 as quickly as possible. So right now I'm setting up to head to the mines. I do have another very lucky day. Um, the spirits are very happy, so that's best possible luck. And it's also going to be sunny tomorrow. I suppose that doesn't really matter, but we will be planting kale with basic sprinklers to finish up our farming level. But anyway, I could use another chest in here, so I did take my mountain lake chest. That'll help out just because things are kind of getting full. And like I was doing before, we are going to smelt every five levels. Hitting dust sprites when we can because we do need that coal. And I guess getting down to 120 right now from 55 would be quite impressive. I don't even know if it's possible, but I do want to try and make it to level 100. So there we go. We get the crystal dagger on level 60. There was a spiral floor there that luckily there was a, a ladder immediately uh, spawned in front of us. And infested floors... I mentioned this before, I will go and clear them because I have the glaive and it's not too difficult, but once we get down in the Skull Cavern, I will pretty much never clear them. It just takes too much time. I mean, we're talking about hours in game sometime. That's kind of unlucky, a, a second um, infested floor, you know, within 10 levels. Basically, the infested floors are, are already predetermined. If you're familiar with something like Stardew Predictor, uh, where you put in your save file and it'll tell you a bunch of information about it. Um, I'm not currently using it on this run, and I probably won't, um, but you can. It, it has details on the mines, and it will tell you on what days what floors will be infested. That, that can come in handy. Maybe down the line I'll look into it for getting ancient seeds from the traveling cart, um, or looking at basically those ice levels days where those ice levels have an infested floor on like you know the first floor or the fifth floor so you can get down to it quickly and the reason i'd be interested in doing that is because it would make farming dust sprites a lot easier in my end game i already have that iridium band as my first ring but eventually i want my second ring to be the burglar's ring because it uh, there's a chance of double drops from killing monsters so things like batteries from Iridium Bats and Diamonds, Iridium Bars. There's a, there's a bunch of good stuff that drops from monsters in the Skull Cavern. Um, but you need to kill 500 Dust Sprites to get that ring. And I didn't account for it on, on this playthrough. It just, it kind of sucks because it, it does end up taking a few in-game days. I'd probably, I'd estimate two or three. And also, uh, if you saw, we're now at level 80. These are the, the magma floors. We flew through the last section, which is great. Now our glaive is a little less useful. Um, it doesn't do as much damage as I'd like it to against these monsters, you know, because everything's getting progressively harder and more difficult. So level 90, we will get, I believe it's level 90, we get the Obsidian Edge. And that's an upgrade from the Glaive, so we'll finally uh, switch it out. But, you know, it's done a good job. 
I'm still very happy I got it early on. It does make this run a lot easier. Otherwise, you're starting with the rusty sword and then just slowly upgrading, and that's a pain. Also, I did want to mention that I, I, I was talking to some people on the Stardew Valley Discord, and it became apparent that... Um, so there's the Obsidian Edge, by the way, so I can now use that. Uh, but it, it became apparent that you may not always, especially if you're a new player, you may not understand some of the moves I'm making. Um, I did kind of intend this guide uh, for people who have already played through Stardew once. So if you are newer and, you know, I don't explain myself well, please just uh, feel free to ask me a question and, and I can go through, you know, why I do the things I do or why I'm choosing one profession or over the other, you know. But level 95 and it's 11.20 p.m. So this looks risky. I essentially have a couple hours to get to level 100. And that gold's nice, but I need to be... Oh, here's a mushroom level. If you're not familiar with those, they uh, basically spawn a bunch of mushrooms. And you look at the lanterns on the um, sides, they're a different color instead of this red. But those mushroom levels, uh, prior to this last patch, once you found the mushroom level, um, you could just keep farm farming it every day. Um, but now with 1.4, it's not that way. So that was really unlucky, too, if you were... Uh, paying attention, I didn't actually make it down to level 100. So those floors that I just that I cleared through, I got some you know good ore and stuff, but um, my progress is only saved at level 95, and I had to give up because I need to come up to fill my backpack with um, everything I need before I pass out and do a little more smelting. Just making final decisions for the day. Trying to think of what I need for the community center. But you see I do have a, a copper, silver, and gold bar, so that'll help me um, fix up the mine carts. So rain tomorrow, and we have a very unlucky day. Also, it's Sunday, so always read those... Um, recipes so you know how to cook things. I believe that one was coleslaw. But yeah, we have a lot of stuff on hand. The money's pretty much there for the vault. I think it's 42,500 gold. But... You need two things uh, to get to the Skull Cavern, right? You need to um, fix the bus, but you also need the key to get into the cavern. And, of course, that's at the bottom of the mines. So that's the priority right now. We need to finish up the mining. I'm, I'm at level 95. And in the meantime, I can knock out some of the bundles. It would have been nice to fix the mine carts a little earlier, just so I could get to the mines uh, more quickly. But you're you're losing like a half an hour just manually walking. So but yeah, I see that that legend fish is just burning a hole in that chest. Some diamonds. We got some catfish. A lot of good stuff. This part's taking a little while because I don't want to go to the community center to start unlocking, bu unlocking bundles and realize that I've left something. I do that a lot, so usually when you see me pause like that I'm looking up at looking up the uh, Stardew Valley wiki 
and double checking everything. That bundle was enough to open the boiler room. And there's those bars that I was telling you about. And that's the geologist bundle finished. And finally, we have the adventurer's bundle. So getting another furnace, that's great. I think I'm deciding whether I want to take this stuff with me or not. <laughs> I like how they, they just scare him, popping out of nowhere. It's 9 a.m. And we just sold some odds and ends to Clint. This is because we need to get ready for that kale harvest, right? I believe I need 70 kale. Yep, that's what I pick up. So I need to get this in the ground. Eventually. But it's also raining tomorrow, so even if I get it planted tomorrow, I won't need those basic sprinklers built until the end of the day, right? So if you've never used uh, basic sprinklers before, um, they water the four adjacent tiles. Um, unlike quality sprinklers, they don't do um, diagonally, so you only get four out of each. This is a pattern I've seen online uh, for sprinklers. I can back up even further. Um, the reason I put down the stone paths um, is, is those are the locations that the sprinklers are going, right? Um, and it's because when you hoe the ground, um, it won't hit the sprinkler up if you don't put a, a, a path under it. So move the scarecrow around a little bit, make sure we got all the sprinklers out properly. And any debris, you do want, I saw that on that first one I started hoeing, um, there's debris very close. Um, I always do try and check my field and make sure that um, th there's at least one or two um, tiles between my crops and, and any debris that's growing on the, the farm because it will eventually expand, right? And I think whenever that happens, like if, if you do um, lose a crop, it'll say, hey, you know, spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm. Um, it'll be like a little message when you first wake up. And it's just so easy to avoid that you, you, you want to avoid it if possible. So we do get the kale in the ground today, and it is raining tomorrow. It's 3 p.m., and I think my mind right now is just on that Skull Cavern key and getting down to the bottom of the mines. So if possible, it makes the most sense to just not water today and let the rain start at tomorrow because I don't have everything I need for the basic sprinklers yet anyway. Those rice shoots are, again, just more insurance for my farming experience. I, d I did actually plan out the experience um, in a, like a little written outline, but I don't have that up with me. And it's been it's been a little while since I played this day. So forgive me for the, the vagueness. But basically, this is the point where Overnight, we can get close to or maybe achieve the 42,500 gold for unlocking the vault. And that means that the desert would be ready to get to on the 16th, right? So if tomorrow on the 15th we complete the bundle, the bus will be fixed overnight, 
and we'd be able to get into the Skull Cavern beginning the 16th. Now, realistically, I think we could have made that work, but the way I'm going and how much more mining I need to do just to get the key, it, it's probably going to make more sense that uh, the Skull Cavern dives start on the 17th. But that's still good. I mean, you're getting to the Skull Cavern within the third week of the first month. And most casual players would just... I mean, they'd be very surprised to hear that you can do that. I mean, full disclosure, before I decided I wanted to do, to do a min-max run, I, I didn't realize that it was possible that early. So, here we are, redoing the couple floors that didn't get saved la uh, on ye yesterday, because we didn't make it to level 100 to save the floors with the elevator, and that's unfortunate. Really don't want to have to fight these enemies if I don't have to. They are hitting hard, and it does take a while to knock them out. I have like cat hair or dog hair in my mouth. My house is just filled with it. Finley's an Australian shepherd and he just sheds everywhere and Bruce is Bruce. He gets his fur everywhere. <laughs> oh. We got 9.40 and some more smelting to do. I'm really excited to... Um, this video is cool. And in, in, in the next two uh, days will be fun to voice over, but um, getting into the Skull Cavern is... Is, is what I'm looking forward to most. So I realize I'm not going to get any, um, or it'd be risky to try and get any, or five more levels saved since it is 1050. Um, but I do know that I need more ores, so I can just do some uh, back and forth ore farming. There's not much to that. And in hindsight, I don't think I've killed enough green slimes yet. So I'll have to go back to do that to open the Adventurer's Guild eventually. And my main reason for doing that, uh, before really it's the Burglar's Ring, but before that, you start to accumulate a lot of weapons and, and um, you know boots and stuff that you can't sell in the bin, but you can sell them to the Adventurer's Guild. Um, so with limited chests, I want that space and, and the extra income's good. You can usually get a few thousand dollars. Um, so I'll need to slay 10 green slimes, which I don't think I've done yet, um, in order to access the Adventurer's Guild so I can clear out some of that inventory. And I could have done that while I was, you know, ore farming here. I saw a couple floors where there were several green slimes, but that's okay. Just another lesson learned. One fifty, we are passing out. And there we go, the minecarts are fixed overnight, which is great. Our haul is thirty eight thousand three hundred and thirty two. Um, I told you I needed forty two five, so uh, we're a little short, but we can knock that out. It is raining tomorrow, so we can do a little bit of catfishing and then swing by um, Willie to sell those. So uh, basic sprinklers, a little bit of catfishing, finishing the vault, and some more mining to look forward to in the next video. Thanks for watching.